the war in Ukraine is entering a critical phase, the Hill revealed Russia's goals. The full-scale war in Ukraine against the Russians is moving into a critical phase. Russia wants to conquer new territories. This is stated in the material of the Hill. Kyiv is deploying new Western military supplies to try to build a reliable defense and bring back Russian successes on the battlefield, the material notes. According to journalists, at the same time, Moscow is striving for further territorial conquests, increasing military production using income from energy exports and circumventing international sanctions. The publication notes that, therefore, for the authorities of Western countries, closing loopholes in sanctions that allow the Russian Federation to fuel its military machine should be the same priority as supplying Ukrainians with all the necessary weapons. Former U.S. Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs Victoria Nuland said that the Russian authorities have clearly escalated the confrontation in-country by carrying out new offensive actions in the Kharkov region. It is worth noting that the Russians began to actively attack in the Kharkov region on May the 10th and were able to capture a number of settlements. On the 23rd, Commander-in-Chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Alexander Sirsky reported that the occupiers had suffered significant losses and were bogged down in the street battles for the city of Volchansk. On May the 10th, the Russians began to actively attack in the Kharkov region. It was reported that the opponents were able to capture a number of settlements. Ukrainian soldiers were later able to slow down the enemy's offensive actions in the region. According to former U.S. Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs Victoria Nuland, the Russian side has clearly escalated the war in Ukraine by carrying out a new offensive in the Kharkov region. According to her, the U.S. authorities should provide Kyiv with more assistance in striking bases inside the Russian Federation. Zelensky plans visit to France to ask NATO to shoot down Russian missiles over Ukraine. President Volodymyr Zelensky plans to attend June's D-Day commemorations in France, followed by a G7 meeting in Italy, where he will ask Ukraine's partners to shoot down Russian missiles over Ukraine, provide more assistance to Ukraine's armed forces and seize Russian assets. Politico reported this, citing two people familiar with the president's plans. The Ukrainian president's schedule could always change, both people emphasized. But if all goes to plan, Zelensky is expected to use this trip to call, as he has in recent interviews, for more military support from the West and ask for NATO to shoot down Russian missiles like the United States and the United Kingdom did when Iran attacked Israel. Zelensky will also demand that the US and European countries seize Russian assets to help fund Ukraine's defense and eventual reconstruction, Politico reported. The newspaper notes that Zelensky's plans are particularly noteworthy as he has recently cancelled foreign trips because Russia launched a large-scale offensive in Kharkiv Oblast. Ukraine is also in desperate need of continued support and global attention, and the trip would give him time with world leaders, including President Joe Biden, to plead his nation's case, Politico wrote. Zelensky plans to travel to Italy for the G7 summit after he visits France. The newspaper recalls that for months, members of the group have been debating the feasibility of using hundreds of billions of seized Russian assets to strengthen Ukraine's defense and economy, citing legal difficulties and fears that Moscow could do the same to Western countries. The United States and the United Kingdom have strongly supported the idea, while some European members, such as Germany, are more skeptical. The issue roiled an earlier G7 meeting of finance ministers where European Central Bank chief Christine Lagarde argued forcefully against the full seizure of Russian assets to loan to Ukraine. Zelensky would likely use the opportunity with heads of state and governments to try to convince the doubters, Politico concluded.